What is up and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be working on the back end of the engine. Um, so we're going to be checking the flywheel. So as I said, there's probably a rear main leak, but there's also a plate that sits behind it. And because of that, I want to pull the engine off the hoist and um, check where the leak is actually coming from. So really the flywheel is just like eight bolts and that's it. So we're just lifting up right now. After we finally got this, um, we had to find a new one of these. But we did, so it's just being lifted off now. Um, this guy's new to the channel, Arthur. He's, he's commented on my videos before. Um, he's actually so in my information. You're not new to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> You've been, Adrian's been here since day one. But um, Arthur's actually in my program, my information design program. Um, so you'll probably see him around quite a bit. You're lifting the whole thing, so. Perfect. Um, so we'll get this up and then we'll take off the flywheel bolts and I'll catch up to you guys and tell you exactly what is the problem once I figure the problem out myself. So that plate right there is an oil separator plate. We actually don't know what it does, but according to Subaru, it does something. Um, but it's a pain to get off, and we just use this like hammer screw thing, and came off like perfectly, besides breaking one of the bits. But we're pulling that off because we want to see what it does, and I'm going to be replacing the gasket in it. Check it out. It's back on the stand. We got it mounted up the correct way this time, so it's not all wonky. And David's back without a broken arm this time. Or a broken wrist, so he can help. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna. Take a long time. We're gonna <laughs> I've been dead for a, week, a month and a half essentially. I haven't posted a video. Mm. I'm just gonna rip your oil filter off. And you guys haven't actually seen this flipped over, but can you guys see the cylinder walls? So we're gonna pull off the baffle and pickup so we can just take a look. Um, but we won't be doing the oiling stuff yeah, till a little bit later because I'm gonna do all my oiling at once. <laughs> Don't worry, I did it. So that's the stock pickup and that's the stock oh, baffle. And there's the engine. Um, you guys can't really see, but it actually looks like not too, 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 too bad, but it looks all right. You, pay, you can't even do like bearings without disassembling the entire thing. No, you can't. You have to split the case. <laughs> The only thing that you can do is rod bearings. You can't do camshaft. You can't do mains. That is Subaru things. Classic. Like this boxer stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well, it doesn't look too, too bad, actually. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there's not, like, really anything that's hu a huge worry, which is a good, good thing for this. But there is, like, you know, the usual Subaru stuff, but it seems to be... Good enough for at least a couple more seasons. That was force of habit. So the engine doesn't look half bad. Um, there's things that we could change, and if I was doing this more in um, depth, I would probably end up changing head gaskets and all that fun stuff. But since we only got two months and autocross needs to be, or we're going to the first autocross, um, I don't have all that time to do that. So what we're gonna do um, for the rest of this video is we're gonna start pulling down. We're essentially gonna pull this down as far as we need to start building it back up. So on the bottom, there's not much left on the bottom. Um, besides motor mounts, we're gonna take off all these um, because might as well replace them while we're here because there'll be a pain mm -hmm. to change later. Um, and then we're gonna flip it over and take off probably the intake manifold and all that fun stuff so we can do TVGs in the next video. And there we go, we're back upright. Time to start tearing down. We're gonna tear it down to the point where nothing else needs to come off, essentially. So, I will kinda of catch up to you once we actually figure out exactly what needs to come off. 
So we've disconnected all the wiring harnesses, all the connectors, so you know, injectors, all the little sensors that are around Not the engine. Not as tough as me. And then we're just taking off the um, intake manifold now. And then it's pretty much figuring out all these lines and stuff. And then we're pretty much got the motor stripped down to where it needs to be. Why is this so like hard? That was on there. We just pulled it off. So it takes a couple people to do it because you, you got to find where everything is. Uh -oh. Do we got a valve? What is that? That's what? <laughs> uh oh. Looks like spum. Uh, that's like plastic or something that's broken off. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um, but the valves are there. That's a good sign. Um, and as you see, the top of the engine block is pretty darn dirty. So that's something we gotta clean. But now you can see just how many hoses are actually running all across this block and just how complicated it is when you have to replace something like this on an engine. That's why like you gotta make sure everything's good once you put it back together. <laughs> you can do it, Adrian. What are you doing? There's something in there. Hmm? Just something that fell when we pull it out. And of course I'm gonna be like changing like these gaskets and stuff because why not? But if we take a look at the intake itself, um, these are gonna all be gone because that is the TVG delete. So we actually don't need as many connectors and then these just run through the TVG leads too. And then this, yes, I know, <laughs> TGV. I am always mixing that up, I don't know why, but this will also be replaced because, well, it's cracked, so can't use that anymore. Uh. So, this is the TVG. <laughs> so this is a TGV, which is the um, thing that, Super put in to kind of disrupt the air at cold starts and it's essentially just a little butterfly valve and it's kind of restrictive um, when you start pushing more power and it's just a lot of weight compared to what I have um, waiting for us. So we got those off, the intake manifold, and now we're just taking off the last one and then we're pretty much done breaking down the engine unless Adrian wants to take out the heads off and buy me um, head studs. <laughs> So Adrian's holding the um, TGV delete and they're essentially just like pieces of metal that replace that and they're like spacers. Mm -hmm. And you still got the same spot for the injectors or so forth and you got all your hardware. It's just there's nothing in there and there's no motors. So it's just makes it flow a little bit nicer. Um, and then you can also go like you can go a top con top feed conversion with those if you wanted. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really pushing enough power yet. But yeah, this is pretty much the last thing we gotta pull off. So Adrian said, do not pull over the crossover pipe. Me being me, decided let's pull the crossover pipe because I wanted to clean these. Well, it turns out these are connected to that and I thought he was just talking about that, but everything's connected. And you know what happened? That guy, that's a, that's a bolt stuck. So yeah, that's a problem, we have to fix that. But it, I wanted to get it off so I could clean up this area. So we can just make it just a little bit cleaner. So that is the issue. It's sheared off and it's stuck in there. So you know what? We're gonna have to do the same thing we did on the STI with the seat and we're gonna have to pull or drill through there and hopefully just break it apart and then pull it out and put a new bolt and hopefully not screw up the threads in the block. But I don't have the drill bit for that so we're gonna leave that for today. So essentially that is gonna be it for today. So we pretty much have everything apart that we need to. We've got the intake manifold off, we got TVGs, TGVs, <laughs> Adrian's shaking my head, or his head. Um, flywheel, the intake, all that fun stuff. Got all this done, that's the boost controller there. And the blocks tore down to pretty much where we're gonna be cleaning it and then putting it all back together. So I've started compiling a list of all the parts I need and all the little gaskets and stuff, that's a big issue. Of course, again, Adrian, with his tools saved the day and his expertise helped us pull everything apart. And then there's the pickup and baffle. Those are being replaced, so that's just kind of sitting there. Then we got all this stuff that needs to go back in. Um, I'm gonna be pol polishing this. I got some polishing compounds, same with the radiator. But all of this eventually has to go back into Proto Daily. Actually has to go back in in less than two months. Um, yep, it needs to go back in less than two months. So we got a lot of stuff to do and not a lot of time. So that's the end of today's video. So till next time, peace out and stay humble.